Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. With all the conflict and all the controversy and all the backlash and all the questions about the McMahon family, what else is going on with the McMahons? Also, as tragedy struck the McMahons, we talk about new, realistic, original WWE breaking news. We also are historians as we also go back in time to tell you about the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most informative in WWE. And again, we also we break the barrier and go old school with news and rumors as, as well right here on this very channel. But right now, we do all the most up-to-date information first and foremost for each and every one of you breaking news John Cena has an offer from an adult website I and mean, we all know why that could be because of what happened with John Cena at the award show just a couple of weeks ago or some would say it was only several days ago John Cena is he going to be on an adult site your thoughts your comments and your opinions you can only imagine what it's going to be like if John Cena were to do something like that John Cena isn't so PG in this era also for the first time ever <clears throat> a WWE versus TNA match has been booked for a blood sport X, yes, WWE versus TNA. You want to talk about that open door. Also, the upkit, the updated card for WrestleMania 40 as it concerns the WWE Tag Team Championships. Now, we all know that CM Punk is scheduled for next week's Monday Night Raw, but listen to this one. CM Punk has already been spotted. CM Punk has already been spotted without a cast. Now, this is major, and this is huge, and this is pretty historic because the fact that after six weeks... CM Punk is already, without a cast, rehabbing his injury is major. There's a lot of rumors and speculation that CM Punk might return ahead of schedule. Uh, you know, remember that time when John Cena was out for a while and we thought he was going to be gone for a long, long time, many, many months, and then he wasn't gone for many months, and then John Cena made a shocking return at the Royal Rumble when nobody expected it, nobody saw it coming. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here on Sean's View Entertainment, CM Punk seen without a cast only six weeks after surgery. The news of Punk's absence for WrestleMania 40 left fans worldwide disheartened, yet the wrestler has remained transparent, providing updates on his rehab process to keep the fans in soup. Drew McIntyre, to his credit, is also keeping the storyline going and keeping CM Punk's name in the conversation by keep mentioning CM Punk. Even on, C even on the back of his t-shirt, he's got CM Punk's name on the back of his t-shirt. Now, CM Punk has vowed that he will be at WrestleMania. But what is CM Punk going to do at WrestleMania? Well, here on Show and View Demon, we give you the fastest, the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most defiant WWE news and rumors from those in the know, from the sources, from the dirt sheets and the websites. And we come to you the delight. There is rumors and speculation that CM Punk would be the special guest referee, but the setup would be, imagine this, you're putting CM Punk in a scenario where Seth Rollins doesn't have a great friendship with CM Punk. Drew McIntyre doesn't have a good friendship with CM Punk. Now, CM Punk, there's rumors and speculation that CM Punk would count both men's shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. And CM Punk would then signal he's the champion. He's the winner of the match. Again, both men would be knocked down. CM Punk counts the one, two, three, kind of like what Austin did at Breakdown, uh, or at, excuse me, Judgment Day back in 98. Remember when it was The Undertaker versus Kane, and Stone Cold was a special referee, and he knocked down both The Undertaker and Kane, and he counted one, two, three. There's rumors and speculation that a scenario like that could play out where CM Punk says, and the winner of the match is CM Punk. And then, of course, we all know how mad and, you know, CM Punk would make Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre at him for doing something quite like that. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. And now we all know about all the backlash, all, all, all the vendettas, um, all the question marks about the McMahon family and the vendetta that's going on and all the monstrosities, all the mayhem, all the friction that is going on with the McMahons. Well, what else is going on with the McMahons viewers? And how does John Laurinaitis tie in to this whole damn thing? Well, we're going to get right into that report. But ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. Becky Lynch decimated Nia Jax in the last one's match on Raw last night. And a former WWE writer clarifies a fact regarding The Rock's final boss moniker. Also a Bloodline member, guys. Massive news just before WrestleMania, just weeks before WrestleMania. A massive Bloodline member is in the hospital. That is 
is Afa of the Wild Samoans. We all know their tie-in. We all know their bloodline. We all know where their blood lies with Roman Reigns and The Rock and Yokozuna and Rikishi and the Usos. And we all know how far the lineage goes. But Afa has been hospitalized. As it concerns Matt Hardy, is he going to sign a deal? Is the Hardy Boys going to be back in the WWE? Again, there's rumors and speculation that the WWE wants all hands on deck for WrestleMania 40. They want to have as many guys as they can, as many wrestlers past and present, future and legendary. Just like here on Show and View, we talk about new news, breaking news, legendary news of the past, the present, the future. And even today, we talk about everything going on in the WWE right now and in front of you. And ladies and gentlemen, in an amazing piece of news that many of you may have not seen, Drew McIntyre is now making a bold proclamation after Seth Rollins' screeching remarks on Raw last night. And, ladies and gentlemen, Becky Lynch sends out a message following her gruesome victory over Nia Jax on Monday Night Raw. And listen to this one, guys. Just coming through the desk, fresh and true for each and every one of you because we save the old for later on. We save the old stuff for later on in the video. Arm brace removed. CM Punk makes an important step in triumph steps injury. Also, Breaking news on Mercedes Monet, guys. Listen to this one. I don't know if you agree, agree, or agree or disagree, but it's all about your thoughts and your comments. Tony Khan endorses Mercedes Monet as the perfect face of AEW. Do you think that Mercedes Monet, do you agree that Mercedes Monet is the face of AEW? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Brian Jurits was supplying The Rock with ammo against Cody Rhodes and his goofy-ass dog, uh, on Monday Night Raw. Also, breaking news on massive departures. Major stars leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know. TNA departures. Veteran tag team on the verge of a possible exit, plus an exodus of AEW. Also, The Undertaker explains Vince McMahon's decision to pass on the dream match with Sting. So ultimately, it was Vince McMahon's idea to say, no, we don't want to go with that match. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Mandy Rose is poised for a return to professional wrestling once again. And there is massive conflict, guys. Massive conflict as it concerns a top Raw superstar that will be competing and wrestling at WrestleMania. Conflict continues to boil over, and this is an update to earlier, on Drew McIntyre and his contract and his status at WrestleMania 40. No, good. Would you want to see that play out where, where CM Punk announces himself as the winner of the world title match, being the special guest referee. And when WWE started having Fox approve scripts to prepare for profanity, WWE had a reason for this in the first place. Yes, the WWE had a reason for this, and they did it in the first place. WWE has kept a lot of things in mind when they are broadcasting live television. The words that talent say on the microphone can get heated, no, can get heated, but they shouldn't get profane. They, this changed for a couple of promos in recent memory, most notably The Rock and Cody Rhodes as the world saw. And ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly not least, here on the dock, here on Show and View, remember when it was a McMahon. As a matter of fact, it was Shane McMahon who was involved in a helicopter crash several years ago in 2017. Someone brought that to my attention today, and I said, well, bro, this is old news. This is news that happened years ago. Luckily, Shane McMahon survived it. He overcame it. Um, you know, it could have been detrimental. It could have been bad. He could have been injured. He could have been killed. He could have been everything. But Shane McMahon overcame the helicopter crash. That could have definitely been the demise. Some say that's where it started right there. The crash of Vince McMahon and his family and Stephanie. And although uh, we have yet to hear Shane involved in any of this fiasco with Vince McMahon and all this other things with all the girls and all the ladies and all the different things going on, all the different variables that go into this. But ladies and gentlemen, the one variable that you can keep at the end of the day is Sean's view and team will always make you feel some sort of way because remember, if it's not brash, well, then it's trash and it will never, ever last. Click that bell, subscribe for the hottest, newest, greatest, latest WWE news as it happens. And of course, we also cover historic news in the annals of time because you cannot forget history. Subscribe.